Hey, what's up? I'm Kyle, and I'm going to be reviewing the course The Entre Blueprint by Jeff Lerner. Um, I purchased over $100,000 worth of online courses in my time, so um, I picked up little things from all of them, but maybe like one or two of them really took off for me. Um, I do a business model similar to Jeff Lerner's, where I have digital real estate kind of assets out there that make me monthly income. Um, but what I do is a little bit different than what he does, and I'll explain that in more detail later in the video. Um, basically, I build little one to five page websites that for different service industries, and I rank them uh, on Google and then rent them out to business owners for, uh, for monthly retainer income. But what Jeff Lerner does is he's more on the affiliate marketing side. So he builds out online assets like websites and ad, uh, ad flows that get him a cut of the course courses that he promotes and sells, which is great. And I think that's amazing because he puts out like a blog or something like that that, that generates a lot of traffic and he does it on a large scale and he gets a cut of everybody who purchases these products through his links. And now you see how that's an asset because it's the same thing as like building a house, except infinitely times cheaper. Um, if you're building a house, you're gonna spend a million dollars, get it built, then rent it out and to maybe make a thousand dollars a month in profit off that. Plus you have all the stress and liability that comes with it and insurance. With online assets, you could spend less than a hundred dollars and build out a site that makes you monthly income that exceeds what, what you'll make cash flow wise on a real estate property. Obviously with real estate, you get the appreciation value too, but if you want cash flow, online real estate is the way to go. So I highly encourage you to take Jeff Lerner's course if you're looking to do affiliate marketing on a big scale, because he definitely has it down. He's a really good reputation in the space. Um, the way I go about um, digital real estate is, like I said before, I build out a one to five page simple website for a particular service industry in a particular city. So for example, let's say junk removal in Portland, right? I could build a little junk removal company website in Portland and uh, I buy a domain junkremovalportland.com or something. And once I add one to five pages, I start doing a little bit of SEO on it. And SEO is not something complicated. It doesn't involve any coding. It's very basic. It just sounds techy. It's not, because I am not techy at all. But you do a little bit of basic SEO, and since you're going to a smaller market like Portland or something, where there's not as much competition marketing-wise, it's not gonna take that long for you to rank. So once your website starts showing up, anytime somebody types into Google, um, anytime somebody types into Google junk removal services Portland and I show up people are gonna start calling the phone number I have on that website and that phone number I have on the website is called a tracking phone number where I can control who the calls forward to at any time um, and so people start calling the phone number and at first I have those calls forwarding to my voicemail but in the meantime I'm calling up junk removal companies in Portland asking them hey I got this website that's getting a bunch of phone calls for junk removal work um, do you have any interest in, in any interest in trying it out for a week and so if they agree I hook them up for seven days they get all the calls that we get in Portland hopefully they close a few jobs which they typically do and at the end of the week I talk with them I'm like hey you want to keep this going are you making some money off of it then if they if they agree to keep going work at a deal from 500 to two thousand dollars a month depending on the call volume I'm sending them so once we lock in that deal it's kind of a uh, it's you have this piece this website that's just sitting there automatically producing calls you're not I'm not having to manage ads or do any work to it after that the website just sits there and tracks calls because it's ranking on Google and um, and uh, all I have to do every month is run their credit card and if it declines then I have to chase them down but that's mainly the work you have to do with that client from then on um, I have a link in the description that explains in detail how this business model works um, I also have my email in the description so you could email me with any questions you have about how my business model works, but it's probably the best business model I've ever come across. But you wanna make sure when you're going after an online business model that it's something that there's upfront work, but afterwards it's mostly automated. Something like an ebook, you know, or digital products and affiliate marketing and what I do with digital real estate, building these 
websites that I rent out to small business owners. Um, I promise you what I do is not very hard, but um, I don't know. Good luck on, on your making money online journey. And don't forget the link in the description and my email. And uh, yeah, this has been a review of Jeff Lerner's Entra, uh, Entra Blueprint. All right. Good luck out there.